as a black Republican, I just want to do incantations to bring John McCain back and have his running partner be the go- running partner be the ghost of Ronald Reagan. Yeah, I think we need that as black men. We no, need that. nothing like a delirious army veteran who supported the party that has caused more damage to veterans than, you know. Then he helped. Did, he didn't support the Democrats. What are you talking about? He, he never supported <laughs> the Demon Rats. The Republicans do a very good job of giving lip service to the veterans, but all the programs that they incentivize, which are that's for, the whole point of going to the military, is getting lip service, physically and metaphorically. Yeah, you you give your whole body as service and get lip service. In I return. just want to be patted deal. on the back as a as a guy who was in Operation uh, Desert Desert Eagle Desert Storm Operation <laughs> Operation Sand. Uh, oops! Uh, uh, <laughs> the numbers, Mason. The words, Mason. Don't be saying them. I'm sorry. <laughs> Operation Desert Storm. Yeah, yeah. Which I, my mom was almost in. Fun fact. Yeah, I did it, but I was in it just to just to get a pat on the back from go good old H W. Yeah. But tell your your mother when well, she was in the she did basic training and my mom was an M60 gunner in the military. Your mother was. Yeah, my mom. What? M60 gunner. <laughs> in what in in what uh theater? In what theater? <laughs> Are you dissing my army no, veteran I'm mom saying right now? In the World War Two way, in what theater was she fighting it? Oh, she didn't fight. She she was she was drafted into Desert Storm. There was a ceasefire. She never made it out there. Drafted, drafted. How you <laughs> chosen, selected? She was volunteered as tribute. Oh, this is one of those. I remember this. this. is one of these like obscure, like one of those moments where you're like, oh, America really is race. I didn't know. There's laws on the books that like there's still a, a mm. draft for black women under a certain amount of income. Are you serious? Yeah, I've never was, heard of this. It's like it's like 35 percent of black women getting pressed into the military. And no, she wasn't drafted into the military. She was in the military. She did basic. Yeah. She did her qualifications. She trained. She was an M60 gunner. She's a trained M60 gunner in the military. I know she did a lot of like driving around generals and stuff like that. In the meantime, she was never active duty from what I understand. Now, when Desert War kicked off and George Bush gave the AOK that it was time to go get them, them people. Was it George Bush? Desert Storm? HW. HW Bush. The, the other one. When he gave the AOK that it's time to go get that oil. All right. It wasn't. And he said, it. we need some more people. The first people they try and get is people who are already trained that are in the military, not necessarily active duty, right? Mm-hmm. So basically, when they said, it's time, there's a storm, let's go. She was one of the people picked. You know what I mean? Not necessarily drafted, but like, you're in the army. We need people. you one of those people we need. Let's go. My mother is an Operation Metro a... veteran. I'm sorry for interrupting you. I, just could, I couldn't know that. In. That shit. That shit had a thousand five hundred tickets, man. She made it out. She made it out. Oh, dude, five hundred percent no Sarah Canals is like a beacon of light in my childhood. <laughs> it really, it really. That's a perfect way to describe it. Like, I've never played a game. Like Battlefield 3 Where you can sit there and do the same thing That long Without having it like It never got boring really. Yeah like I didn't even leave the lobby To change my gun It was just me and my M60 with a red dot You know I was cosplaying my mom In Battlefield 3 Just chugga 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 choo 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 You know Getting feeling like a god, getting a hundred kills in five hundred uh, ticket, no shark canals. Even though there's, it's like five versus six. Mm-hmm. It's like, a, like you're supposed to get literally on. getting a getting a feed on the entire enemy team, and they all respawn in front of you. Yeah, they're like they're like squad spawning off each other while you're mowing them down with an M60. It's a good time. It's uh, I have a lot of. A respect for my mother for surviving Operation Metro. Look, she did a she <laughs> she went to like a basic training. You know, she got drafted. She was one of the unfortunate black women who got drafted. Basic training. First thing it did. Nothing else. Nothing in between. No, no specialty like training. I was like, oh, you're good at what whatever whatever. She would just regular ass infantry in that, and then she right. came back. basic with the with the army helmet on. Yeah. Um. And then my my uncle, I have a lot of military people in my family. It's like, I could say what, the way I feel about it. It's sort of a reverse of a, uh, one of those Republican dick lickers that are just trying to slob the, the veterans out actually doing anything. Um, it's like, I could show in the military and all the veterans and everything they're about. And I could say fuck the troops because all my family's troops, 
uh, multiple friends are troops. Right. And all that. And I don't want them to die. I only care about them. Those are the only troops I care about. The rest of them, fuck them. Fuck them. I take. F the I mean, troops. it's not. It's not. I don't think it's that. So, hot of a take. so to sum it up, basically, you don't care about the troops. There's, yeah. I mean, I do care. I just want them to lose. It's very nuanced. It's a very nuanced. <laughs> but there's no such thing as a hot take since the yeah. inception of Twitter.